Hello everyone. Welcome to this lecture on fix your career and life. So today uh, I'll be taking a one more case study of one of my student. So his name is uh, Bupesh Pan and presently the age of my student is 26. So he has completed his B tech or B in the year 2019. And since then, what he has been doing is that he has been preparing for the government exam. So once he finished his engineering in 2019, for almost one year, he prepared for the gate, okay, for the rank improvement batch. He got some marks, but that was not able to, I mean, he was not able to get a good marks in the gate. And after that, since 2020 till today, that is up to 2024, he has been preparing for the government exam. And in between, he got hit by COVID and uh, for that, he had paused his study. You know, there are a lot of problems in his life. For almost four years, he started preparing for the government exam. He tried with almost all the exams, but nothing happened. Like uh, he cleared few prelims, but he was not able to clear the mains exam. And uh, uh, so there are a lot of challenges in his life. So yeah, that is what he had told me that nothing happened so far. What is his present condition? The present condition is that he got a job as a structural engineer in Delhi, uh, where, where they are ready to pay him 4.5 lakh rupees per annum. Okay, that's the first thing. Second thing, what is the role? What is the job that he's going to do? He's going to work in oil and gas projects. Uh, in oil and gas projects, there will be this pipe rack and all. Okay. So you have to do the designing of the pipe rack and all. For that, usually we use StatPro softwares and all. And, but the problem with him is that he doesn't have any experience. After soon, after his B Tech in 2019, till today, for almost five years, he doesn't have any much uh, knowledge. I mean, not knowledge, he doesn't have any right experience and all. Okay. Only the thing is, he's good in studies. He was able to clear some exams. His technical uh, knowledge is good in subjects like strength of material, structure analysis and all. Because of that only he was able to clear a uh, clear an interview as a structural engineer. Because when you may ask me one question, how is that he got a job as a structural engineer when he doesn't have any experience? The reason is very simple. Whenever you are applying for a job as a structural engineer in a good company and all, they check your technical knowledge. Like you should be good in strength of materials. You should have a good knowledge in structure analysis. You should have good knowledge in subjects like RCC and steel structure. You should have a good manual calculation. You should know to do the footing design, column design. If you have good knowledge in that, then definitely you can clear the interview for the structural engineer post. And after that, if you have a little bit knowledge about stat, uh, software like Stad Pro and ETAP, it is an added advantage. But before learning the software, these things should be clear, okay? Uh, and since he had cleared the gate also, and he had taken the coaching for that, obviously the technical knowledge will be good. So that is why he was able to crack a job as a structural engineer. Got it? Now, the next, what are the problems in front of him? The first problem is that he, is, he asked me whether he should join that particular company or not. That's the first thing. Second is that whether he should continue with his common job preparation or not. For the past five years, he has been preparing. He's almost 25 now. Okay. So his next question was that, should he continue the government job or not? The third question, what he asked is that he has a plan of starting his own consultancy after two, after almost three years of experience. Suppose if he join a job as a structural engineer, after maybe three years, by the time he's 28, 29, he wants to start his own consultancy. Uh, that is another plan that he has. The fourth question that he asked is, what if it doesn't clear the government exam? Let us say he got a job now, but he is not willing to join that com company and he'll spend another two, two years for preparing the government job. Right now he's 25. Another two years means it will be 27. So by the age of 27, just in case if it doesn't clear the government exam again, then what is the path that he has ahead? So that is a, that was his fourth question. And fifth question, what he asked is, even though he clear a government exam and he gets a job, obviously you will not be earning in lakhs and one and a half lakh rupees per month, even if you have 10 years of experience in the uh, government job. Because government job, if you join as an E, uh, it all depends from the state. Uh, state wise, but still you can start with let us say 65, 70,000 rupees per month. But if you want to reach to a salary of let us say uh, 1 lakh, I mean 1, 1 and a half lakh and all, it will take you at least 6 to 10 years of time because there it depends on the promotion and all those things. So that was his question. But suppose if you start to work at the age of 25, by the age of 35, in the 10 years, he can reach a salary of 1 lakh rupees per month in a private job. But in a government job, that is a little bit difficult. Okay, that was his another question, uh, what he has to do. So to begin with, from my side, I have given all these solutions to him. The first solution is that right now he doesn't have a job. And since he has got a very good job, that is 4.5 lakh per annum, which roughly comes out to be 37,000 rupees per month, I told him, you just join that particular job. That's the first suggestion I have given. Second suggestion, for the past four to five years, he has been practicing for the government exam. So his fundamentals are good. Since his fundamentals are good, 
he don't have to study for the whole day for 8 to 10 hours even if he can spend 2 to 3 hours in a single day he can still be able to continue his government exam so the second thing what i told is that you first join this particular job one minute Wait. Yeah, wait. Huh. The first thing I told is you join this particular job so that at least you'll have a source of income so that you can, uh, you can, I mean, so that you will have some money with you and you can at least uh, take out your expenses and all from that particular salary. Second is that he can start preparing for the government exam. Since structural engineer job is an office job, it's not a side job. So since it's an office job, you go to site, you go to office at nine o'clock in the morning. Let us say you're coming back at eight o'clock. From eight o'clock to night, 12 o'clock, you have another four hours. If you can spend another two hours per day, if you can spend two hours per day, and if you do your revisions and all, definitely will be increasing your knowledge. You can prepare for the exams and you can try another one or two years for the government exam. Okay. Now, if it clears the government exam for, let us say, uh, now it is month of June. Okay. The day, I mean, today it is June uh, 11. And let us say by the end of this month, that is, okay, let me do it like this, June 11. Uh, 2024. Today is June 11, and by the end of December 30th, I'll say 31st, 2024, he is able to crack a government job. In the next six months, next seven months, he has the time. Then all his problems are solved because once you get a government job, your life is set. You start with the salary of if you get a job of even an A post also, or let us say if you get a post of a JE, you'll be starting like 50, 55,000 rupees per month. If you get a post of a, you'll be starting like 70 or 65, 70, 75,000 rupees per month. You have a job security with you. Sundays will be a holiday. You get all the government holidays and you have a set life and you don't have to worry, right? So if you clear the government exam, the next six months, all these problems are solved. He doesn't have to worry about your life anymore, about his life anymore. Just in case if he doesn't, the next question comes here. What if he can't clear the government exam? Okay. And the next is that he wants to start his own consultants. Just in case now I'm taking another case that suppose if he doesn't clear the government job, then what is the thing? If he doesn't clear the government job, already has got a job, let him continue in that particular job. And once he continue in that particular job, once he gets some experience, after let us say three to four years of experience, he can start his own consultancy. But the problem in his case is that right now, whatever job he has got, no, that is in the oil and gas. So in the oil and gas, you'll not be designing the house uh, building and all. You'll be designing the pipe rack and all. So if you're designing the pipe rack and all, definitely uh, you'll be working on Stat Pro. It's not a RCC uh, uh, building. It, it's all about steel structure. Tomorrow, if you want to start your own practice and all, then you should know how to do an AutoCAD plan. You should know how to prepare the submission drawing. Then you should know how to uh, do the structure designing with the help of softwares like ETABS. Your fundamentals should be good, which he's not going to get to learn in his present job. So that is why what I have told him is that right now, what I have suggested him is that you continue in that job. And I have a course by name six in one combo course where I'm going to teach him the site execution, estimation, drawing, reading and all from those courses, fundamentals will be good. And after that, after that, I require three to four months for him to learn all these things. After that, I will, I will suggest him a course on ETAP safe and RCDC where he will be practicing on the building project. And there he has to spend another three to four months so that he'll get to know how the buildings are designed, how a G plus one, G plus two, G plus three building is designed. Once he has a good knowledge from there, with that knowledge, let him try to change the company. That means for the next six months, he'll be working in the same company. After six months, and in this six months, he'll be upgrading his knowledge through my course. Then he'll be upgrading his knowledge through some ETAP, SAFE and RCDC course. After that knowledge, definitely if you go and face another interview for a structure engineering firm, definitely will get selected because that is a kind of the knowledge that is going to get from my courses. And after that, if you start to work in that company on the building project, let him work there for another two years. Since you're already working there, you'll have enough knowledge. And after working there for two to three years, you will leave that company, come back and you can start your own consultancy. So that is a suggestion I've given him. Another thing is that what he asked is, even though let us say he cleared a government exam, uh, he will not be earning in life. See, definitely will not be earning in life, but you'll have that uh, uh, security life. You don't have you don't have to be in the rat race of a private job, right? And moreover, you'll have good freedom also since you'll get you'll be getting a lot of government perks and all, and you'll be having a good life and all. So I told him if you get a government job, that's finished. You don't have to worry about the salary. Another thing, even if you don't get salary in the account. Uh, since it's a government organization, definitely you are, to, you are going to get uh, money under the table, right? Just in case if you pass a bill, 
like once in three months or once in four months, if you pass a bin, definitely you get some percentage. If you are a A or A double E, definitely you get some percentage. So that will not come in your account, but under the table you are going to get. So definitely whatever money you are going to make in the government job, that you'll never make in the private job. That's right. So I told him, if you get a job, join there. You don't have to compare the salary and all. No. One is you should have a secured life and you should enjoy what you're doing. Even if you get into a private job, directly you're not going to earn in lakhs and all. It will take you at least eight to 10 years. And for eight to 10 years, you have to work like anything. And um, if you're working in a private job, of course, you'll not get all the holidays. You don't get much uh, perks what you get in the government job, right? So I told him you do all these things. So that was my uh, solution to all his problems. And uh, apart from that, yeah, apart from that, I had suggested him one more thing. Yeah, all these things are done. Yeah, yeah, that's it. So this was all about uh, his career planning. So, so far he hasn't joined the uh, this thing job. He told he'll be joining in the month. I mean, he's waiting for the offer letter. And uh, I had told him to enroll in my uh, six in one combo course. I'll show you that also. I had told him to enroll in my six in one month combo course. The reason is that if you enroll in this course, whatever fundamentals is required. See, when you want to start your own consultancy, you should have a site execution knowledge. You should know to read the structural drawing. You should know to do the estimation and all. So these are the things which you should be knowing. But if you join that particular job, definitely not get all this knowledge. So through my courses, what will happen once you enroll, I'll be teaching him the complete site execution course. See, the site execution course will be something like this. I'll show you that also. So I'll be starting from the fundamentals, like what is cement, sand, and aggregate. From here, I'll be teaching each and everything through a beautiful PPT, all the site videos and all. And we'll try to understand how the entire site execution is. It's a complete 60 hours of my lecture where I teach you with this beautiful PPT and all the practical site videos, images and all. So once he enrolls in this course, if you understand all these things, a person one will take one, one and a half year to learn all these things. No, all these things I'm going to cover in my site engineer course. So that much knowledge is definitely going to get from my course. So once he finishes the site engineer course, the next part, what he can go is he can go for my drawing reading course. So in the drawing reading course, I'll teach him to how to read the structure drawings like a footing, column, beam, slab. I'll show you that also. See, this is my entire drawing. This is my entire course of a drawing reading course. We'll be starting with a G plus three bungalow plan. We'll try to understand how those, uh, how to understand the plan. So you can see all the videos. No? So this entire thing is going to get in my course. It's almost a 30 hours of my lecture and not even a single person on the on this planet has done a course something like this, right? Because the reason is that I've taught more than 15 to 20 plus drawings. You can see basement plus ground plus three-story building. Then there's a high-rise building you see here there's a high rise building there's a four basement plus ground plus 26 story building there's a basement plus ground plus three story building and each and everything what is required for you to uh, improve your technical knowledge no those things i've covered it here all the code book knowledge then um, uh, then uh, then each and everything uh, what is the importance of shear force and bending moment how do you design a beam how do you design a column how do you, all the basic thing what is required you are going to learn from this particular course. After that, if he wants to learn more, then he has to enroll in the ETAP Safe and RCDC course. Because here we'll try to uh, come to a certain level where your structure engineering concept is going to get improved. We'll teach you how to uh, you know, uh, place the columns and all those things will be covered here. And once he learns that, all those things from here, structure drawing, then he can learn the estimation part, the BBS part and all. So if he learns this much, his fundamentals will be good. And with this knowledge, he can definitely crack one, one more interview in a new company. And along after finishing my six in one combo course, he has to enroll in the ETAB Safe and RCDC course. The reason is that when you're working as a structure design engineer, then obviously your fundamentals should be good, which you are going to get from this course. Along with that, you should have a good knowledge in ETAB Safe and RCDC software so that you can go and work on a, some high rise buildings or let's say some residential projects and all. So this was the entire game plan for him. So I did not suggest him my 6,000 rupees course because this course will never help him. Since he want to work as a structure design engineer in this six in, uh, in this 6,000 rupees course, there are many things which is not useful to him. For example, if you see my course here, there are things like, uh, I'll show you a few things. Like there is a course on uh, building engineer. It's not required for him. There's a course on, uh, yeah, one minute, let me refresh it. Yeah, there's a course on building engineer. This is not useful to him. He'll never use this course in his life. 
so unnecessary uh, there is no point in enrolling a course which you are not going to use in your life there is a course on project planning which doesn't require being a structure engineer there is a course on ms project there is a course on ms project which is not going to use in his life this course is not required for him ms project is not required primavera is not required for him and whereas autocad and revit is required in a later but right now it's not required so that is the reason i have suggested him you go with this 6 in 1 combo course and later once you gain all this knowledge if you want uh, to uh, learn the structural part you can go for this particular course so this was a complete game plan that i have given to him so maybe in few days he is going to get a job and later will suggest he has not taken the course so far maybe after some time he is going to enroll in the course got it yeah and uh, yeah so this is his message you can read the message that he had qualified uh, gate for four times but not with a decent mark and all and he had got a job of around 4.5 lakh okay so that was a suggestion i spoke to him and that is how it is okay so he told that so far uh, 17 june they are offering him the offer letter we'll see after 17 june what is going to happen so but even though he doesn't give, get a job there let in worst case he can enroll in the course and upgrade his knowledge and he can apply for some other job and uh, his age is still 25 so 25 is not a bad age i would say i mean of course by this time he should have got a job but Uh, uh, but since you are preparing for the government exams and all it will take time because once you clear the government exam your path is a uh, beautiful ahead right uh, but uh, if you want to have a beautiful path after some time initial days you have to struggle right so that is the reason his age is 26 it's not a bad age to start with but it will take some time that's it yeah so i hope you have enjoyed my entire video and before uh, before this video there was one more video which i had made even you can watch it from the playlist try to watch that so this entire uh, series on all this uh, career mentoring will uh, go on in my channel uh, do like and subscribe to the channel if you like my video and there are other videos which will help you a lot and i always suggest you uh, download my civil brain app and there are many beautiful courses here where people will take 1 to 2 years to learn all these things which you can learn in the next 3 to 4 months by spending some uh, money and i would always suggest you to uh, enroll in my courses so i'll see you back in the next video thank you